All right, so I actually did a little bit of thinking um, in, in between the recording uh, when I put the stop button and all that, but something to note is that there's greater Nagas in the uh, vault chamber, and they actually suck to uh, really encounter. So let's scry. And these all look like mages and all that, so I'm thinking this is definitely the, um, uh, what do you call it? This is the, um, what do you call it? The rune vault. So I'm being really cautious and we're actually going to uh, try not to get in there and get killed or anything like that, so. As you can see, scrying is really useful. This is where it comes in useful. You can look through stuff and, you know, plan out your vaults where it uh, really matters the most. Kill this guy. Finally got another heal wounds there. Kill this guy. This guy. That's the bomb floors out of the way, mostly. Unholy creation. That's the scroll summoning. Beat up him. Eat his corpse. Google way of doing things. Well, that's this amnesia, I think. There's a guardian serpent, and what does it do there? It shouts, casts a spell at me. Kill it. Oh shit, it's gonna teleport me. Wow, did I get lucky there. That would've been bad if it teleported me, you know, where... Um... Uh, those guys are on a staircase. Let's tell, um... I don't know. I got a lot of lightning ones now. But whatever. Uh, this lightning makes too much noise to really use. Let's try... Enslavement, and I'll hit the... Naga resist with some effort. I resist with some effort. I gotta kill this guy. I gotta kill this guy. Fighting level 19, I'll take that. So what my plan here basically is I want to try and um well for the most part uh Avoid the Greater Nagas and just map out the rest of the place. Let's confuse him. And let's not charge in item, but I will... No. Let's try slowing maybe this guy. This guy. This guy. I just got teleported yet again. That looks like the entrance to the vault, so let's just hit that. It seems to be the entrance to the vault. Hey, okay, some of my heard that, so let's go kill it. Okay, I no idea where. Uh... All right, let's eat. And there's a deck of cards that one of these guys is holding. And Cursed Weapon, we'll take that. So basically, I'm not going to go into the Vault Chamber. I'm just going to map out the rest of this place because the Great Naga are a lot more dangerous than, you know, um, I've given them credit for, or, or I, have, I haven't really not given them credit. They are dangerous. There's that fast-moving bastard. I should be using the cards on them just to test them out. But, but there will be other enemies to use them on, like this guy. Let's try him out. It uh, is Helm. I get some evasion. Regeneration. It's a deck of war. 
Get this. We'll run after this guy. There's the injured guy. Uh, let's pro, or not pro, I'm far enough away, I think I can lightning bolt this guy. I mean, I'm halfway across the level. Zap. Great mace. There's a great naga. So, one of them's loose. And he can teleport me if he wants. He cast haste on himself. Okay, that sucks. He's also uh, immune to hostile enchantments. I can't hit him with uh, anything, so he's going to be a nuisance regardless of what I do. Um, let's see here. What's he holding? It's a whip. It's wielding whip. Oh, he's going to make me teleport. Well, that's a good teleport, I guess. It's near him. Let's let, leave him alone. I'm not going to go hunting for him just yet. I need ammo stasis so I can appropriately kill these guys. I guess he just spawned on the level. And he's just wandering around. The rest of the guys are asleep. Like they should be. I smell something rotten. He's too close to my Light King. He sped up again. Um, I guess I can do that too. Zap. And well, let's just try hitting him. Okay, he's just not going down. Uh, this might really uh, possibly be stupid, but that hurt him. That hurt him some more. That killed him. So that's the same Naga? Or maybe it was that he just went and grabbed whatever he could. Let's get this. I'm going to actually go up and down. We're just going to try all the staircases, basically, is what I'm going to do right now. What's over there? Matter, kill it. And this might be stupid, but I want to see where this goes. Okay, somewhere safe, more or less. Now I actually could try and take out Rupert, but he was only holding an axe, so I don't really care about him. And the gold isn't that important, so let's go up. I'm not going to deal with Saint Roca because this might hurt too much. I mean, for Mount Dwarf, it is annoying. Mod is a different story, though. I might go after Mod. Uh, she seems to be doing something that requires resistance, so. Scrying. That's the anaconda over there. In a way, this uh, scrying is useful as we're trying to find her, too. But it takes too much pie to be using it over and over again. So let's go over to this guy. I can take this guy. As you can see. Much different than last time. I don't know where it went though. I didn't get the final blow. Oh, there it is. Hit it. And we killed it. Roll of magic resistance. So this. Flash is flying away.
Do 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 do. There is mod. And I don't know what the glowing demon trine does or how strong she might be, but let's just haste myself. Or actually we'll do this first. And regeneration. And skin crawls again. This is flame. Puff of flame. Elixir if you like better. Visibility, she can't see me anymore. That's awesome. She hits you, but it does damage. She resists. Billy miss mod. You block mod's attack. You puncture. You hit. I'm still invisible and regenerating, so. I'm flickering for a moment, so I'm about to come back for, you know, in vision range. You burn mod. Okay, what's she have? She just had draining demon trines. Nothing too snazzy or anything. Uh, let's put it on to see what it does. It's just, uh, oh, it doesn't identify. That sucks. Uh, so let's do this then. Hit the, uh, as you know, it's just a regular demon trident. It's kind of interesting, but nothing too, uh, too snazzy. Let's put your mod. Mod's now dead. That's another unique out of the way. I gave uh, too much, um, too much space for her, and she was not that tough. Guess I know why I was resisting all the time when I got hit by the weapon over and over again. So we'll drop this over to here. Free to even try this now. So drop this. We'll drop the deck of war over here. Um. I don't know, 10 of the cure potions. That is drop all of them I did. Drop number 10 R. Number 10 R. There we go. Uh, let's drop some of the teleport scrolls too, because I don't really need to have that many as well. Number 5 D. Um, we'll drop this here, and they're stacking up those identified scrolls as you can see, so that's just, I can get a little bit better at uh, IDing stuff so it's not a big issue to me. And um, where's my uh, corpse? This is gone. I guess it died. Something killed it. Uh, Mesa freezing and all that. Let's drop. Hmm. Drop this. Drop this. Drop this. And I'll just keep this one. Eat this before it rots. Slowing, hasting. Coal. Uh. Not. It's just whatever. Frost. Teleport. Fire. Polymorph. Lightning. Confusion. All different wands, pretty much. Um, hmm. I'm really looking for that spectacular weapon that I'm going to be using for the rest of the game, but I'm getting really tempted to start using one, two, three of these scrolls. I don't have a lot of them, but I still have a few of them. Uh, first thing starts to drop these stones. I've got 300 stones. I have to stop picking up stones. Destruction. Well, whatever. I'm going to go to the vaults, I think, and start killing stuff there, I guess. Ah, uh, that sounds like the best idea. And there's actually not a lot of curse scrolls in this game for some reason, or they're all weapons apparently. So I guess the uh, you know turning your remove curse into whatever scrolls you want is a little bit uh, needed to uh, worship Bastion Zari, even though I'm getting lots of piety. You eventually do get a lot of piety, so not a big deal. The cursing is more for these boosts here. You get weapon skill, and that like boosts it a little bit. Shield, you get builds the shields. So sacrifice scrolls to remove curse, praying over stash, that contains scrolls to remove curse for every change, each scroll remove curse and a scroll of whatever else. Well, whatever. 
Um, so I think if in this episode we're going to just try and get my fight up to 20. So let's go to vaults. There's a mermaid already. And centaurs. I'm memorized. Didn't really matter though. Kill this guy. Okay, why is there so many centaurs? And there's coals here too. Bump, 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 bump. This way, just temporarily. All right, let's see the corpses here. Let's eat some meat. There's a shapeshifter going nuts. Way back out. Hill giant skeleton. Agnes. Um, I'm not sure you've seen her before, but she's basically a Spriggan with a Lalutang. So she's like using the stave uh, uh, that's good for agility. She's basically really fast. And what else about her? She blinks, I think. Nope, she's just very fast. And with the right pain, capable of dealing a lot of damage. But she's probably just going to get pulverized because she doesn't seem to be using any branded. So she's just going to die. She still does a lot of damage, but, you know, whatever. Uncursed Lamotang, nothing great. Eat, 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 eat. Go this way. Troll. Or these guys. None of them drop corpses, really. There, let me just scroll. Wolverine. We got some armor. Yes. Hellhounds. That means that Azrael's around. Right there. Uh, let's back off from him. I could take him, but... Probably better just to run away at this point. We're going to run away to a staircase, yeah, over there. So this way, this way. I'm not taking too much damage from the fire here, but I want to just lure him out. You know, deal with what if I can. Let's use this, beat them all up. Okay, all dead. That's at least some of those crap things killed. This guy's using crossbows on me. He's using needles. There's Azrael. He fireballed me. He sticky flamed me. I don't want to lose my scrolls or anything, so... Uh, drop this. Drop this. Drop this. This. Let's drop everything. Let's just kill him. Get him out of the way. And kill these guys. Oh, he wasn't that tough. Um, there's this scimitar. I'll make sure no one can pick that up. I'm no longer glowing, so let's pick this up. Pick this up. Butcher that. Eat, 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 eat. So, he's out of the way. Let's get back to this. And kill this guy. Ah, oh, lots of pushing the speed. Heal up. And what's this scroll do? 
Scroll of requirement, finally. Okay, what do I want? Um, weapon's dangerous because I could get a pole arm, but yeah, if I get a good pole arm, it's fine. I guess I could switch to it. Wand, I don't care. Armor, I get good enough armor. Jewelry, don't care too much. Gold, that's also useful, but meh. Book, staff, and mission, meh. We'll get for weapon. Something appears on my feet. It is what? It is cursed. Uh, five plus one spike flow of protection. So that's actually better than this one, sort of. But the holy water sprinkler, a military flail. This class of weapon, like several others, have had an inception among the influence of husbandry. And owes its name, like the Golden Dog, doubtless to a brutal jest. It is stated by Whitaker that the agricultural flail was introduced into Italy about the time of the Roman conquest of Britain. The Anglo Saxons called it fres uh, Fresco or Frasher. This terrible weapon consists of a shaft of wood, garnish of iron, tax with bricks, and a flail of iron. Moving on a ring or chain or chains connected to the head of the shaft with a wooden or iron ball of balls of extremity. The balls are usually garnished with iron spikes. But this is not always the case. The holy water sprinkler is often confounded with the morning spire, which is the spiked mace described under the heading. The under that heading. So whatever. So if you actually read this one, I guess. Um, nah, this isn't really telling you what it is. No little inter interesting insight like that. But whatever. We got ourselves a nice little mace. Kill this guy, and these guys, and that guy. I'm actually tempted to curse that mace to me. Just because it's a really nice mace. Um, pull arms. You know what, we're actually gonna... I'm gonna show you what this is. So transfer knowledge. I can basically transfer from D. And I can transfer it to something else. So select destination, I can select it to Armor. No longer helps you reconsider your skills because I lost piety for it, but as you forget about pull-ups, you feel ready to understand armor. So I'm so I'm basically getting from here to here. Action side is really useful if you switch skills for some reason. Which I did because you know I saw a good pull pull arm and I was like, oh I'm using that for sure. Keep going. There's remove curse. Ouch. I stepped on something there. A blade trap. There's an ogre mage. Wow! I was cast into the abyss on the first cast right there. Oh, look at this. There's a chainmail. And this gives me invisibility, reverse, um, resist fire, and resist cold. Kind of interesting. Okay, let's pick that up. And, okay, what am I going to do here? I am in the abyss. And even though um, I'm, well, I suppose it's a good thing to note. It, they say that running around the, in the abyss with uh, Ashen Zari is not exactly as bad as, it's, as it sounds. Uh, basically, uh, Ashen Zari helps you out by, um, basically by means of, uh, you know, just see, letting you see all around you. You can actually see the portal before most people can. So I don't see a portal or anything like that. And it's also great for finding the Rune of Zot too, if you want to do that. Hmm. Um. So what's my plan here? I guess we'll wander around aimlessly and hope I don't die. A large abomination. Let's move away from it. There's a book. Okay, that guy caught up to me. Let's kill it. Pull arms decreased to level four. Okay, what's this book about? This is confusing touch and a skeleton. All right, it's got useful stuff in it. I want my skeleton, I guess. So we'll keep it. And there's a box of beasts. I don't really care about that. Let's go this way. Kill him. There's gold. Wow, there's lightning spires. That's actually a good thing because it means there's room of Zaz over there. Um. But wow, there's ruins, uh, lightning spires, and uh, crossing through there would be really, really painful. Um, what the heck do I want to do? Uh, I don't have invisibility on me right now. 
Would you believe it? I do not have the, the, the thing I really need. So it's right there. The abyssal abyssal rune of Zot. I actually found it immediately. Um. Okay, there's lots of stuff running around here. So let's just back off. Let these guys come to me. Kill this guy. I'm gonna teleport. Kill the Hellwing. Let's kill the Warrior. Red Draconian Zombie. And I finally teleported. There's the portal out of here, apparently. Though, I don't apparently know where the Lightning Spire is. <laughs> so, um, I'm actually tempted to go back there. Uh, but should I? Probably not. Let's just uh, grab the Orcish Boots. And we're just going to wander to an empty arch, apparently. Nothing great about that. Kill these guys, kill this guy. These guys, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Kill him. I'm getting hurt here. And a large, large abomination is going to come soon. The orange demon. I'm just getting surrounded here at this point. I'm not killing fast enough to really make up for everything. I think I lost him there. Smoke demon. Move out of the way. Move this way. Let's eat this flesh before it rots away and I lose the chance of getting sanitation from it. Kill this guy. These guys. Ah. There's a dragon over there. Let's start running away. I'll look for the, uh... This way, this way, this way, this way. What's this? This is, uh... Dex 4, accuracy 4, damage plus 4. Eh, let's pick it up, why not? Meh. That's not worth keeping. I should be concentrating on getting myself out of here. So. We'll do that for, for now. Picking up stuff as you go. Probably should stop doing that, but whatever. Large Abomination. Let's keep going this way. I'm tempted to put on a protection uh, from this uh, flail of protection just so that, you know, I get protected on my way out. And it would benefit me quite a bit, so I might do it. Decisions, decisions, and I think I will. Yeah, it's just worth it. It's worth it to have the extra protection, so I now have extra protection. Which means I also and I also have a uh, weapon. It has now bound. I'm now moderately balanced. So I have more weapon skill too. Basically, I have 19.4 maces and flails, so I can hit this guy really hard. And this guy pretty hard. I'll just beat up these guys around me. I won't get any flesh though from stuff here, so it kind of sucks for that reason. Um, I might start. Uh, Using these scrolls still just to help me out a little bit. Ah, these are nice stuff. This doesn't really help me as much, but I'll keep it on hand just in case I decide to use it. Cast spells for some odd reason. Pull arms increase level three. Necro face kill that easily enough. Is this still showing me? Whatever. I know up there is where the room of Zod is. Uh, let's run away from that. There is the way out. Oh, get this before I leave. That's probably dangerous, taking the you know, moment to go get that. 
Oh, Alright, you cast me out. You're gonna get killed for that. Go like this. Actually blinked, but, you know, I want to kill these guys because they're being too annoying. Okay, armor skills level 15. We're going to turn that off. Uh, no, we're not. We're going to keep it on. I want to get my pull arms. Keep going and all that. Get this, drop it off. I actually picked up a lot of stuff. I should really consider... Um... Oh, well, we'll kill this guy first. I should probably heal up first. Intelligence returning. Flesh is drawing away. There's a griffin. Kill this guy, these guys. I can't unwield my weapon. I mean, I can't unwield my weapon. I've got claws. I can't wield my weapon. Apparently you can't, um... Okay, that kind of sucks. Four plus one whip. All right, let's just remove the curse on the, uh... Flail protection. And... Oh, apparently you can use it on multiple items. I'm slightly bound, that's fine. It's a nice weapon and all, but I need to be able to butcher. I'm a ghoul, I have to eat my corpses. Kill these guys. Eat, 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 eat. Now let's actually uh, wield the deck of cards. I wonder if I'm actually strong enough yet to uh, take on the Orcus Warlord. Uh, no. I actually want to evoke these. Sage, I'm now studious and stabbing! Of all things. And that was, uh... Kind of dangerous. Let's just back off here. I'm going to use it again. Whee! More water! Potion, you feel better. Fireball, you... Sign explosion of flames. Feel mighty. By decomposes, you know, weaken helix, my forces, wild magic, you serve of cold, uh, you feel less empathic, dousing, you feel telepath, tel tel telepathic, now it'd be had, and that's two spot hexes, he's not useless one, but whatever. Alright, so I got pretty lucky there, I think, killing all that stuff. And we are going to go back to layer two and drop off all my all my uh, lovely things. I mean, I quite literally. I mean, I've got armor. I got weapons. I'm overloaded at this point. Kill this. And okay, we got a cursed mace of freezing here. And let's just go over here now, I guess. That's my guy. Hi, guy. Let's see if I can get a uh, large abomination. Read it. Did they merge or anything? Hmm, maybe not. Wait here. Okay, we'll go over here. I'm just going to start making that stash. This. This. And we want to drop off our books. Hmm. Drop off this. These. Curse armor. Got two curse armor now. Hmm. I'm tempted to take off my cap at this point and just put on the helmet for your extra AC. Uh, so now I've got my spike flail protection here. I'm also going to drop off this though, this regular one. And drop out the scimitar. 
I'm tempted to dropping off the Orc Slaying, but it does have some benefit. I should have used that for the stupid, um, what do you call it, jelly, but whatever, I forgot. I had it. Um, so we cleared vaults. I had a little visit to the Abyss, and I actually saw a stupid ruin. Uh, so just in case that happens again, I'm not going to... Well, do I have any visibility potions? I didn't have any visibility potions anyway, so it wouldn't really, really matter if anyways, so... Next time I'll grab it, if I can. I think it's going to be the same vault again. Who knows? Maybe it won't. I don't know. Sucks, but you know. Um, I've got... Stuff, 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 stuff. Let's, um... Drop off the boots, I guess. I don't need those. And this is just, uh... This is cap has been destroyed. So, it's time to take it off and put in the helmet, I guess. And buff it up. Uh, get these, get these, get this. Remove curse on, um, the cloak, the cap. So I guess it lets you select what you guys, I'm not, I'm not sure, but oh well. Get all that. You're now partially bound armor. And we will uh, drop off our destroyed loot, uh, which consists of uh, the cap, the cloak, put on this other cloak, put on this helmet. I'm actually going to buff these up because I have the enchant scrolls for it, I think. Well, not really, but I've got artifact armor at this point, so I don't really need it to for buffing up a regular armor. So it helps us to have these things um, resistant to... Ah, that's gone too. These resistant to uh, stuff. So helmet. And I'll buff up the helmet again. I'll buff up this. And we'll do it on the gauntlets. And now I've got basically plus two, which makes it... We're going to some resistant to acid corrosion. Some resistance acid corrosion, so these won't corrode as much, and I'll have my AC preserved, which is what I'm after right here. I was losing my AC for some reason, and I guess it's because the arm was just getting destroyed from whatever else was um, hitting me. I was just curse stuff. I want to curse the helmet, and I want to curse back the cloak. I'm fully bound in armor, so I have my armor bonus up. And I'm tempted to curse jewelry, I guess, just to try and get it partially bound, but I don't think it'll help me anymore, and it will. Drop all this for now. Keep getting my remove curse scrolls for later. And let's see here. I'm actually tempted to drop this because it's not really helped me as much to whip of uh Electrocution, it might be helpful, but who knows? And um, we still got time. I'm gonna go to the Orcish Mines one more time, but we're gonna take a couple things with me. We're gonna take this, and we're gonna try and beat up some orcs. And down we go here, and we go up. Let's try here. Interesting. There's a vault here. And our stuff. And I don't really care about what, you know, surrounds me, so I'm just going to beat up everything anyways. Gas going to die pretty quickly. He gave me a hat. Plural Arms is level 2. He says this a magic resistance hat. It's okay, but... Whatever. It is worth noting, it's a, it's a nice um, hat. He had a protection dagger. Yes. 
Books are him. I forgot about the gas knock there, but not like it really matters. Gas knock isn't really worth considering for his hat, I guess, all the time. There's a uh, Prince Rivet over there. A crystal foil protection. I'm finding all this stuff a protection now. It's odd. It's a conspiracy. Kill this guy. Orc priests don't scare me anymore. I've got so much HP. Eh, yeah, beat them all up. And beat it all up. And we got remove curse, and we got this. I assume there's nothing back there, but we can just scry quickly. And transfer knowledge? No. Scry. scry. Yeah, it's just crap over here. Scrying will be useful for other reasons too. Spear trap. And we go this way. I can use this on the last level too if I want, so. Orcus Mage. It's just, it's just easily slaughtering everything at this point. I don't have to think. I just slaughter. Kill these guys. There's Prince Rarit. He'll die quickly. And we'll just keep going and going and going. The only thing that's going to hurt me is the Orc, orc Warlord, I think, in this entire level. Uh, no. Eat, 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 eat. You can never get too full with a um, ghoul, by the way. I don't think anyone's noticed it. There's a Roka. She could banish me to the abyss, but I don't care if I get banished to the abyss. For some reason. Wow! She does actually cast some pretty powerful spells. I didn't notice that. <laughs> she killed a priest now. Alright, why is she taking so much hits? She's got... Pretty much no reason to be taking hits like that. Let's go this way. Let's zap lightning this way. And that hit her, but she's not taking damage for some reason. Uh, fire. We missed her. Go this way. Kill you. She blinked. Uh, I don't want to take injuries while I'm. Alright, I don't want to get banished piss at this point because I've got nothing left. I missed her. Okay, finally she died. She was proving really difficult for some reason there. Okay, all that. Bunch of uniques that I'd never killed. Killed now. Die exploring. I can go here. We can turn off some of these uh, exclusions now because they are not any, you know, any more reason for them. This has the uh, crude ring mail. I guess I'll pick it up just because it's cheap and see what it does. Eh, yeah. And it is a curse, negative four, ring of fire. So it's just crap, pretty much. Where is it that I picked it up? This one? Yep. Crap. Not really worth it. Guess I can see why it's uh, so low priced. There's the Elven Halls. If I had the, um, uh, you know, Master Resistance, I'd go there, but I don't. And... This is a good time to start connecting passages so I don't have to worry too much about escaping. So we're going to go here. I'm going to use Wadding to this direction. And we'll do it one more time, I guess. Oh, orcs again. And I could use it over two for purposes of getting out. I can't... Yes, I can. I can go here. Yes. 
Okay, we're gonna connect these places like so. And now I've got access over here to get out of here. I'm tempted to find out where this one goes. Need a little flesh. Put on the proper weapon so I can, you know, discard this wet whip. It's a nice whip, but it's not the one. Oh, interesting. Cross me over here. And I can use my wand digging to sort of uh, get over here, I think. Wand digging. Zap. What's this guy doing over here? And uh, wand digging again, maybe? Awesome. Finally got out. So there's a way up if I need it. And I'll do this. These guys don't really scare me. Yeah, they don't scare me. I can just go around here. More! Do do do. What just uh, happened there? There was an enemy here, and it just disappeared. There's a frost giant. That's not good. It is wielding a battle axe of freezing. Cyclops. It can hit me a bolt of fire. It is uh, not, you know, susceptible to fire like uh, stupid dragons, so... Uh, what to do to hit? Is it, um, quite resistant to hostile enchantments? Maybe I can... Maybe. No, probably not. Uh, maybe do this. Charles to resist. Confuse it. Easily resist. Let's just beat it up. Maybe I'll kill it. It is dying pretty easy. Okay. Hex is increased to level 1. Kill that guy. He had a Morpal Flail of Crushing. And it is, uh, yeah, just crap. Yes. Close. Wait for me to close. Beam up. Balox of Freezing. We'll leave it because I don't really care if it whips that one up on me. And get this, get these. I'm actually getting burdened because I'm carrying so much. And it's just a loop fest at this point. I haven't gotten to the other places. And this is, ooh, that has to be picked up. That can't be left alone. Rare book, and that has to be picked up. That can be left alone. That's why there's a teleport trap there. Butcher him, butcher him. We'll pick this up too, because I'm picking up everything else. And, okay, we got, um, Uncursed Twisted Scimitar. We got Pitted Sling. What is that? That's, uh, He's got electric, resist electric, and fire. Okay, that's kind of interesting. That'd be kind of useful, I guess, for the lightning spires, because, you know, resist electric on it. Um, and what else was in here? The pit sling? That's just got Fuchs' anguish. Frost and invisibility. Nah, who cares. Let's go up. And what's over here? Boy Needle. It's got Ruined Hammer there. Pick it up. Eh. Go here. That's what, uh, Rune Great Mace? I'm loving all these protection items. What's this one? On Chris sorry, Freezing? Alright, you know what? We're, we're gonna just, uh, sort of, um, cheese this a little. We're gonna go up here. We're gonna kill what's over over there, by the way. Uh, 
butcher them. I'm going to go up here. It's the Elven Halls, which is fine. And we're just going to start dropping stuff left and right. Um, actually, no, I don't want to do this. I want to go straight out to the temple. I'm just going to drop stuff there. Uh, lag a little. Hmm, I take this cloak. I good to have in there backup cloaks just in case this one gets worn. I don't want to use the other one now. Uh, we're gonna drop the crushing flail because you know I don't really care about that. I've got protection. It's probably better. I probably shouldn't say that, but you know, I like the protection better. This drop this. What's this book? Summon dragon. Ah. I'm probably never going to use that. Uh, drop distortion. And drop the darts. Eat this. I'll keep the hat because it's possibly useful if I go to Elven Halls. I just need to um, sort of do something about uh, the fact that I got a helmet on my head now. I can't really uh, just remove and recurse it because I don't have enough uh, no re, uh, curse armor scroll. Risk electricity. So send, uh, okay, let's just keep going. Um, I'll keep this for now, and we'll go back to the orcish mines. I'm basically going to take the uh, the little secret passages until I get back to that place again. Uh, well, it's worth two, sort of. I got a deal with him. I'm not using the right weapon again. Let's kill this guy since he's out in the open like this. And uh, vampiric dagger, don't really care. There's a lot of vorpal stuff in here. I don't want this stuff hitting me. Uh, he does summon something apparently. So I guess we're gonna make a second trip. Let's move that, by the way. And I'm just gonna go. Let's try this one. Full trap. How nice. Wait, I don't want to try this one, do I? I want to go over to the one that I tried before. This one over here, I think. Yes. And this goes where? Yes, this is the right place. We're going to go pick up whatever weapons I can keep finding. Just so I don't have to worry about them against me. I'm just going to dump them all in the temple. Uh, yeah, we'll get these two. The bow, I don't really care about too much. This will have the guy's AC and it. that'll be more annoying than anything else. Get this. It's not worth stepping into the teleport trap. Oh, well, it's over here. This little space here. Nothing apparently. Kill that orc though. That let me out too. Distillery. I can get stuff here. I can heal wounds. That's useful. Eh, nah, sure, why not? We'll do it right now. This, this, this. I got the money for it now, so why not? Um, I wasn't able to pick up everything. That's because of this. Eh, yeah, kill that guy. Let's go temple. Go temple. Drop off more stuff. Apparently we found our spear trap. Uh, let's see here, we'll drop off the hammer, drop off this long sword of freezing, drop off this, drop off the vampiric dagger. Uh, keep that. Drop up this. 
the rest of the stuff I'm mostly keeping, but let's go to Dolera to start, um, actually I should eat some flesh before it rots away. Eh, well whatever, I got what I could. Go. Go Lair 2. Guys, wait here, and we're just gonna drop off stuff. Let's see. I got a couple more of these things. We're gonna drop off boots and the cloak. I'm gonna hold on to uh, this guy here just because um, it's sort of useful. I'm gonna drop the electric whip though. It's not as useful anymore. And. Well, for the most part, I guess uh, that's all I really need to do here, except for drop these maybe off. Do I want to enchant these um, weapons, I wonder? And what's to say about this? So the thing about uh, the enchantment level, I think it is if you get your damage uh, up, up to five, I believe, for weapons, they start to be become immune to damage. But anything lower, they can be, uh, they can, be, they, they become corroded sometimes. So let's see here. I mean, I could try and find like a flail of distortion, but I think the protection is probably the best plan I can get. So I'm gonna actually. Make use of these finally, and just buff up, buff up this guy right here. Just buff it up right all the way. So, uh, let's do this. It briefly if you it didn't help it. Didn't help it. So, it still didn't get any uh, extra uh, accuracy due to damage. So, it goes red. Now it's uh, plus three. If I do it one more time, goes bright yellow for a moment. It's now. 5 plus 4, so now it is extremely resistant to acid corrosion. It sadly didn't get enough um, of a, you know, a boost like the, uh, this guy here. You know, the, or, you know, it's not above 5, so it, I have to get, like, more damage to uh, get acid resi uh, immune, but it's pretty good, this weapon, so I can use this to beat up a lot of stuff. And that's pretty much the reason for it, uh, buffing it like that. It's going to be my main weapon soon, I think. Go here. Let's go here. Find out where goes. this goes. Right here, apparently. Alright, I have to be cautious here. Just because, you know, um, I'm pretty strong doesn't mean like stuff that can kill me. And we'll go this way. Orc shouts. This is where all the stuff would be. Let's throw stuff at him. Let's go let him come after me. I should have the appropriate weapon as I keep forgetting. The whip will do more damage just because it's got orcs laying on it. Get my rotting damage out of the way. Let's get him to follow me. He's throwing steel darts at me. Alright, orc sorcerer will back off from him. We'll charge, and I'll beat these guys up. Die. And we'll always run from this guy. Pick it up so no one can hit me with it. It went away. That's now our sorcerer out of the way. There's the Orcish Warlord. Let's have the Orc here come after me. I'm actually going to drop some stuff off. 
the darts and the dagger because I'm not really using those anymore. There's an orc. You notice if I'm picking off all these weak orcs, just in case you know they have a strong weapon, I want to possibly make sure I don't have to worry about them when I face the warlord. And there he is. Um, how am I going to deal with him? He is quite resistant to hostile enchantments, and he's wielding a glowing war axe, so he could hurt. Um, okay, we're going to try zapping him at range, I think, with um, fire. Yeah, we'll try fire. Zap. That didn't, I didn't really hear him. Zap. I'm going to back up like this, by the way. Keep zapping with this, I guess. No. Zap. Uh, it hit the Warlord. He didn't take much damage from this, so let's try this, maybe. I killed him. Um, I want to go like this, and I'll zap him like this. This will hit me too, but it'll hurt him more, I hope. Alright, we're going to, um, at this point, hope that he doesn't hurt me too much. And I seem to be willing to fight. Kill you. He had poison resistance, and he had acts of freezing. So... He was hurting, but he wasn't too dangerous. Eat up. So that's the warlord out of the way, unless there's a second one. And kill these guys. Draining. Draining of Sanja. Is that Sanja's weapon I've been holding there? And daggers of venom and all this. Once I pretty much beat up these guys and check out the shops, I might not even be down here again. I suddenly lose the ability to move because he paralyzed me. Bastard, he's going to pay for this. Die. Keep this. What do I see around here? Nothing else. I believe I finally cleared the orcish mines, finally. Let's see, see, stops. See, see, armor bouquet. It's got a pair of dwarven boots of stealth. Completely useless to me. And we've got, let's go to the other antique armor shop. A bloodstained helmet. Not as useless to me. Um, Swamp dragon armor. That's just something to note. It's really expensive, but uh, let's get the bloodstained helmet. It was a uh, zero helmet, strength plus free. So it's an ancient artifact, so it can't be corroded like my helmet can. So it kind of sucks I uh, up my uh, or helmet, but whatever. It's uh, you know whatever it's I find. Uh, we got a bunch of wands here I could take. Nothing really. I don't really have. I already have all this stuff. And we have or sort antiques. There's a colorful robe there. A wand of disintegration. Couple of scrolls of magic mapping I should grab. I'm actually wondering if there's anything over here. But whatever. I think I'm mostly mapped out this entire area that I need to. That's over here. Kill this guy. Okay. I killed everything I really need to in the Orcish Mines. And I've done what I can pretty much. This whip that I'm holding is pretty much no longer as useful to me. Um, so, you know, we'll uh, not be carrying it much longer. So we'll drop it. I'll put on this for now. We'll drop this, drop these, drop this. The rest of this stuff I'll mostly keep just for electricity resistance or flaming attack. Or just because, you know, magic resistance and 
that. This will be good for the Elven Halls if I go there. This will be good just because it's better than that for me, probably. Um, let's go to Layer 2 to drop off this stuff. A white. Nothing really in there that's worth mentioning. Go layer two. And let's drop stuff over here. Wait here. The this is not probably gonna be kind of useful, I guess, to keep going. Actually, I can probably hit electric stuff with this, but Nah, this is more useful because this is not going to meet my skill. This is, so that's why I'm keeping it. Um, we'll drop off the other stuff, though. Uh, this, though, I'll, I'm will i probably not going to really care about this. Um, actually, I could remove the curse on this. This is a good time to check to see. Drop number 18. I'm going to drop all but one of the remove curse. And... We will try, uh, what should I uncurse? Two, eight, two. This is technically better, so I could put this on actually. I'm actually thinking about going to the Elven Halls for some reason. I haven't been there yet, so, you know, I, I know it's a good place to stash up stuff, so it's, you know, worth going there for it. Um, maybe we'll do that. We'll put this on. Yes. And now we will read, remove curse, and we'll move the freezing weapon. And apparently, yes, you can uncurse more than one with it. You just get to select how many you want to curse or uncurse rather. Um, the helmet and the rest I'll leave on cursed. So now I've got myself a freezing mace if I want it. So lightning, cold, flaming, protection, protect me from electric, and we can put on one of these or this guy as needed. I'm actually going to drop off his helmet. It's a nice helmet, but you know, this stuff is better probably. Okay, digging wand can no longer needed. Drop it off. For the elven halls, what I want to take. Elves are usually not, you know, too susceptible to uh, stuff like, you know, slowing and stuff like that. I want to. These are okay to take, I think. And I'll drop this. I'll drop. This, drop this, drop this, and drop this. Get these empty, get these. No, those uh, won't work as much. Get, 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 drop them here. Drop them. Where's Polymorph? Drop them. I'm sure I'm making my stash look ugly at this point, whatever, I don't care anymore. Um, the helmet is nice, but we'll drop it here. I'll pick up you. I'm going to actually have some fireballs ready. So, you know, I can blast stuff with fireballs. And I will drop this. Okay, so everything's mostly set for that. I got um what do I got? I got five heal wounds. I've got nine cure, might, speed. That's a lot of speed again. Drop let's drop two speed. And we'll keep one I guess for myself. Agility, brilliance, resistance. 
And we'll pick up a couple. So drop two resistance. Yeah, two sounds like a good idea. And I'm not really using brilliance, so drop brilliance. Just drop it. And we'll drop one agility. And we'll drop two might. Drop all that. Make room for it all. And the rest of the stuff I can mostly, you know, keep for whatever reason. So mostly good to go. And let's go back to Orcish Mines one more time. Doink. And I actually want to go over here to find out what that portal was. It's probably closed at this point, but, you know, whatever. Go over here and scry. It was indeed a volcano. I still can't get over to it, but no. Hmm, shaft trap. Let's go to it. Blump. That dropped me all the way to level 4. I was lucky I didn't find that. Um, let's go up here to the shops again. One more time. There's nothing in here really I want. Um, I guess I could get the potion of brilliance because I didn't notice it. And one shop, so we're going to quickly look in here. Lightning, digging. I could have got fireball in here, I guess. Anyhow, I mostly see a bunch of stuff in there I don't need. Stuff in here I don't need. And again, stuff in here I do not need. So we're looking mostly good. I can come back here if I need to shop for, you know, wands, I guess. And, um,. We'll go to the Elven Halls. Look at that. I left some orcs alone. I'm not wielding anything, am I? Nothing wielded. Uh, let's wield... This. Get my routing out of the way. Go E. It looks like we got ourselves a summoner right off the bat. Lots of elves over here. Let's kill them all. Butcher him. Butcher all those guys. What's this? This is Elven Chainmail. Well, whatever. I just wanted to jump in here. Sorry if I cleared the entrance. And they're proving to be nothing to me, so. Um, how do I look right here? I've got... Actually, let's use the other one. This one? That's not it. It was here, so let's just look at this one. I am quite resist resilient to hostile enchantment, so I have a good chance of, it, of uh, not being put into the abyss again. And I've got stabbing a hex is still on sage mode for whatever means it reason. Other than that, uh, Pull arms is going down to one. That's actually already down to one, so I could keep training that over to armor or. I actually forgot to turn off fighting. Whoops. And we'll keep training up armor. I'm actually going to turn on off armor on full like this, and we'll go dodging. We'll go long blades off, and we'll go dodging full. Purpose of getting dodging up because I have to get up at this point. I want to get some secondary defense going. Put on K as well, just because I want to be able to detect the traps a little bit better than Ashen's has given me. And the rest of the stuff I'm going to start eventually transferring from like hexes and stabbing all the way over armor. But it costs uh, experience to do that, so I'm going to wait. And. Well, whatever. It's uh, been a long episode. 
I think this is a good time to stop. I managed to clear out the first layer of the vault. I cleared it all around the snake pit, but then going into the snake pit vault. I'm now in the other house and I'm looking for loot, and we'll see where else I go from here.